Hey, 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 the boat doctor out here in a 2020 ATW 95960 G020. It's a 210 uh, Hughes Craft Sea Runner. I like it in white. White looks good. Got your uh, handrails up on top. You got your rocket launchers on the on top, net holders, deck light, uh, backdrop, hard top. Like these, you don't have canvas to worry about. Tow it down the highway. Big tall windows, which are really nice. You can slide those up open get to your bumpers instead of having to unzip them you got the large front window you can stand up almost <sighs> like i say you got a nice little reverse splash on the side right there to keep the water coming down <clears throat> and then you got dual wipers with the big blades at least you can see out of them instead of the short blades you got a good window stop i like the suction cup style uh you got the horn up there you got your anchor guard up front here you got kind of the hood to keep the shade. You can see that tent to keep that sun off, off your eyeballs and you're driving it. Got the two-speed Fulton Jack. Love those. They don't rust. You just take two fingers, crank, crank, crank. And again, I'll repeat it. Uh, keel roller, Not the boat's not, that keel's not meant to touch that unless you're driving up. Uh, it's not for support. It's just so you don't hit the cross member. Swing tongue, make sure the wires are tucked in. Get a padlock, lock that. You got the top mount coupler. I checked the brake fluids right up underneath here. You just... If this is pulled all the way out, you can just twist, pull the cap out, pull this, brake fluid's good. Then if you have to back up, you're not hooked up to anything, you go like that, or you can use this clip right here. And you got a two inch peek-a-poo hole, you got standard flip, pin, uh, you got cable instead of chains is good, safety cable for your brakes if they disconnect, lock, always cross your uh, chains or cables. Uh, I didn't got right down in here, not a big deal, but didn't get the vinyl all the way down to the bottom. On that. Uh, gear, gear oil hubs, brown good, white bad, half full is fine. You don't, don't have to be three quarters full. You got five lugs, you got ST21575R14 Carlisles, 50 pound tire pressure, you got disc on all four, tan maxle. Uh, you got dual bunks with slicks and they go to clean to the end of the ET bracket. You got your bilge pump coming out. You got two autos up underneath there. Is your seacog valves. One's for your live well, one's for your wash down. It's C-Star Hydraulic. Got a ladder, trim tabs, heavy duty tie down hooks. And this here is a, uh, let's see what pitch. It is about 15 pitch. It's a 200 inline four cylinder. Everything looks good there. Right hand rotation aluminum. Uh, zinc's on the every cylinder, zinc's on the block. Stainless prop shaft, drive shaft, two coats of clear, two coats of primer. Uh, their main special 3066 gray paint. Same thing with the kicker, but that's 11 by 7 pitch. You got a 99 on this. You got the cable steer, which is a lot better than the tie bar. Uh, double zincs. The screen here. You got wash down, you got live well. And it's real sanitary. The way they hook up the hydraulic lines and all your cables, nice. It ain't just a big mess thrown back there. I put in 40 gallons of non-ethanol. There's your live well. Shine guides, shine guides. So it runs on this. And there's tricks to load this so you're always straight. Uh, there's your light. And there's a little cap that looks like a pop bottle cap that you put on top. So when that's off, you don't get water in your socket. You get two ram savers are in here. You got your wedge and you got your little one for your 9.9. Uh, sleeper seats over here. You got the Mariner suspension seats, trays, courtesy lights up top. And I'll show you the rest of that when I get into the water. Uh, so we are done here. I've got my card. We're ready to roll.